Hello Techies. In the previous tutorial, we have seen how to work with join text test action. Let's recap about that very quickly. If you see on my screen, I have created a list with the name of employee list. And after that, I have added employee names to the list. And after that, if you see, by using join text, I have converted a list into text value by separating its items with the specified delimiter. What is the delimiter I have used? I have used three delimiters over here like comma, space, and greater than value. It's a custom delimiter which I have created. All right. Now we are going to work with split text. What is the purpose of this? By using split text, we can create a list containing the substrings of a text that are separated by a specified delimiter or regular expression. Now, you may ask why we are going to be talking join test as well as a split test at a time. By using join test, what I can do from the list, I can create a text value. But whereas by using split test, I can reverse it in a such a way from the text value, I'm going to create a list. That's the reason I'm going to join these two things in this tutorial. All right, to make you understand, let me show you a small example over here. I'm having a text value with the names Will Smith, James Bond, Tom, Nicholas. All right. Now, by using this text value, I want to create a list with this specified delimiter or regular expression. How can I go ahead and do that? Let me drag and drop set variable onto the workspace. I'm going to set the variable name as names. And then I'm going to, in the two part, I'm going to give the values over here as Will Smith, James Bond, Tom, Nicholas. If you observe for each and every name, I'm having a delimiter that is comma separated. All right. Now by using this delimiter, what I will do, I will create a list with these values. All right, let me click on save. To create a list from the text value, what is the action that we are going to use it? Split text test action. Let me drag and drop the split text test action onto the workspace. Now, if you see the parameters here, the text to split, what is the text that to split? The names is the flow variable. Let me select that. And then what is the delimiter type that we have used over here to split over there? You can see over here, I'm having standards over here, right? Or I can use custom. So now as we have the standard delimiters like if you see over here, I'm having space, tab, new line, which is the standard delimiters, right? Now I'm going to use the custom delimiter over here that is comma separated. Let me give the custom delimiter as comma. And then you can see is regular expression. No, this is not the regular expression. If you see in our previous session, also one of the session that we have used regular expression as slash D slash W. All right. Now the splitted text, which we are going to create, it will be created in the list that the name has given as text list or else I will make the change over here as heroes list. All right. Now what I will do, I'm going to create a new list with the name of hero list over here. Let me click on save. Now to see the output after splitting the text, what I will do, I will drag and drop display message onto the workspace. Now I will say split text as the title and then the message to display the output. You can see the hero list. I'm going to display the entire list at the same time. Okay. Now I'm going to select hero list over here. Let me click on save. Now let's run the flow. Flow execution started and you can see the output. I'm having Will Smith, James Bond, Tom, Nicholas. Because of if you observe in the names, I'm having comma separated till that name, till that comma separated delimiter that will be considered as a single value. And then it will be added into the list that is hero list. And while we are going to display the output, it will come as Will Smith, James Bond, Tom, Nicholas. And whatever you want to do on the list, you can go ahead and you can do that after splitting the text. All right, let me click on OK. Now I will explain you about the standard delimiters. OK, if you see whenever I'm going to select standard delimiters in my text value, if I'm having space or tab or new line, in that case that you are going to use these standard delimiters. 
and if you see the times number of times the delimiter has repeated it may be two times or three times or n number of times based on the requirement you can go ahead and you can do that all right now if you see is regular expression if you are having any kind of values in the in the text value in that case you will be considered the custom delimiter as a regular expression by enabling this value so you may ask where exactly we are going to use this uh, this kind of feature so if you observe in the csv values comma separated values that we are having the entire row we are having as a single text value right at that time you want to fetch the values and you want to convert that into the list in that case you are going to use split text text action i hope you understand what is the difference for the join text and split text as part of this tutorial and also we have seen how to work with split text test action by using delimiter by using regular expression thank you for watching power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a wonderful day